Welcome back all my YouTube friends. So it's been a few months since I've done a video and there's a few reasons behind that that we're going to talk about in a few minutes. But first thing is if I could ask everyone to do me a favor, just hit the like button at the bottom of this video. You don't have to turn on the reminder bell. You don't have to subscribe. Just hit the like button. Let's see if we can get this video to over a hundred likes. That's very important. And we're gonna talk about why it's so important in a couple of minutes. So everybody hit that like, like button and I'll see you on the other side of the intro. Okay, so like I said, this is Matt, the old Florida boy. Welcome back to my channel, Florida Boy Survival. Let's get into why I haven't been doing videos in the last few months, okay? Number one reason is I moved. Uh, me and my wife, Mrs. Florida Boy, were living in a pretty small condo, and I had all my outdoor stuff in an off-site storage garage, and it was really a pain in the ass. You know, I didn't have any of my stuff there, but I wanted to do a video, and I did a couple of videos a few months back from the storage place. You know, I, I'd have to go over to the storage, and it was really kind of a pain. So... We looked around and we found a nice half a duplex. It's as big as my old house was. Uh, now I get all my stuff back. And you can see there's a lot of my stuff right back there. There's a whole closet full of stuff in, the, in my inside storage room. And I got a new workbench of death, which you can't see it, but you're going to see some videos from the all new and improved workbench of death. So I moved and all that's behind me now. I got all my stuff here. And now I can uh, you know, be ready to rock and roll with some more videos. So that's number one. <clears throat> number two is, it was really, really hot this past summer. And we had a couple of uh, uh, weather events, also known as hurricanes, <laughs> which, uh, or, you know, they're, they don't, they're not that conducive to, uh, to doing outdoor videos. Uh, and one spawned some tornadoes, went right over the oak camp or like a quarter of a mile away from the oak camp. So I really want to go out there uh, and see if there was any damage to the oak camp. I don't think there was, but I'm going to have to let the water go down because it, we got a ton of rain and there's a ton of water out there. So that's the second reason it was really, really hot. And, you know, and I'm, I'm getting older. I'm going to be 61 in February. And, you know, the heat wears on me a lot more than it did when I was younger. I ain't making no excuses, but brother, it's hot out there. And I, I mean, I mean, it's bordering on the dangerous heat now. So now we're, uh, we're just about into November and now we're, we're right down in the mid eighties in the daytime and the mid sixties at night. And I just was talking to my brother this morning and he said, man, the weather's getting nice. I'm like, yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go on a camping trip pretty soon. So y'all are going to see that because videos are going to start back up very, very shortly. Okay. So that was number two. Reason number three is, and this is one of the main reasons why I kind of slacked off, Google, a while back, slashed their payments to the YouTube uh, content creators, which means they cut the amount of money that they were paying us. And my income went down about 75% on my channel. And, you know, I, I wasn't creating that much money, but, you know, I, I would make, you know, four or five, maybe 600 bucks a month and now I'm making like 175, 150, 175, maybe 190, you know, so that's how much my income went down. Who I really feel sorry for and I kind of don't feel sorry for is the bigger guys who have 100,000, 200,000, 500,000, a million, a million and a half subscribers. Some are located in the US, some are located in Canada. I'm not going to use any names. Those guys or some of them actually had full-time jobs. And what they did is they started really knocking it down because a few years back, people were really knocking down income on YouTube. And they had full-time jobs, most of them did, and they quit their full-time jobs to go full-time on YouTube. And they were making four times the money. Some of them took that money and you know they bought some land and some property and stuff like that. We're gonna talk about that later, not in this video. You know, they, they bought some land and property and then YouTube slashes the amount they're paying. 
And now these guys are making less than they were at their full-time job, so they're kind of in a crack. So I'm really kind of pissed off at Google. A parent company of Google is called Alphabet. I'm really kind of pissed off at Alphabet for doing that and slashing everybody's income. So what I did is I, I got a little bit of money behind me and I learned how to do stock options. So I started running stock options and shorting Google stock. So I was using their own stock and playing it with options and short sales against Google. And what I did is I made up four times that amount of money. So, and, and I own a couple hundred shares of Google stock right now. And they're supposed to, to report earnings uh, Tuesday, as a matter of fact. Well, last quarter, they reported, three months ago, they reported earnings. And they reported $111 billion of cash and marketable securities on their balance sheet. $111 billion. And they slashed everybody at YouTube, they call all the content creators, they slashed their income. We got $111 billion. You know how much money that is? It's, it's a lot, okay? So I kind of pissed off at Google, so I kind of, you know, dropped back a little bit in, the, in my, my video production and stuff like that. I kind of pissed off at Google. Um, so that's like reason three, okay? Let's go over reason four. Uh, the bushcraft niche is kind of overloaded now. And you know it is, and I know it is, and everybody else knows it is. How many videos do you want to look at about my three favorite um, bushcraft sur survival knots? Or my seven favorite tarp setups? Or here's how I set up my cook kit? Or here's my three favorite backpacks or bug out bags or here's my favorite knife or what, what you know it's type in any one of those search parameters into youtube and you're going to get 250 videos on the same thing take this uh stanley power lock 25 foot tape measure you want to review it a stand stanley 25 foot power lock tape measure there's a hundred of them on there you know and th and, and they're already they're already viewed out so how, how to make a fire, <laughs> Google it. You know, there's a million how to make a fires and everything else in the bushcraft niche, it's all kind of overloaded. So what the hell am I gonna make a video on that's got any relevance? Uh, it, it's, it's really hard to find things that are relevant now. So, so that's, what, what are we on? One, two, three, four, I think that's reason four. Um, Oh, reason five is, you know, I'll do a video and I got about a little over 20,000 subscribers now, which isn't bad, but I'm a little tiny fish. I'm a little, little teeny fish in a big pond. You know, a lot of guys have 60,000, 100,000, 250,000, a million subscribers. I got 20,000 and I'm not complaining. You know, I do, I do whatever I want to and I'm not sponsored by anybody. I, I don't care. People don't send me products. Well, sometimes they, they used to send me products to review, but but I'm not so I'm not swayed by that. I'm not sponsored by anybody. You don't have to join my channel and pay a monthly fee. There's no Patreon on my channel, and there's never going to be because I don't care. I do videos for me, and if y'all think it's funny and you won't watch it, go ahead and watch it. But that, that leads me into this point. Remember. In the front of the video, I said, leave a like. Let's try to get this video to over 100 likes. That is important. That is probably more important than hitting the bell icon and getting notified or subscribing. So subscribers is, is, is always great. Notifications is always great. But when you like that video and you get the video to over 100 likes, the YouTube algorithm sends that out to so many more people and, and and they'll watch and like, and it builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. You know, look back at my videos. I'll do a video and it'll get, you know, 800 views, 
in a couple of weeks, it'll get a thousand views, 1200, maybe some of them go up to three, 4,000 views, but the likes will be like 70, 75, 80, 50, you know, some of them get to over a hundred, but it takes weeks. That's where the issue is. You got to learn to play the YouTube algorithm along with watch time. Okay. And along with frequency of videos that, that all helps. And that all, and that, that, you know, that increased watch time, that increases your money because that's more time that Google can place those ads. And that's basically all Google does is they're, they're, they're an advertising company. You know, they're a technology company, but they're mainly an advertising company. That's where they generate their revenue is ads. Okay. So that's why hitting the like button is very, very important. Uh, and please, if you haven't already done it, hit the like button. Let's see if we can get this video to over 100 likes because this is an experimental video. So that's where I've been. That's why I haven't been doing videos. Uh, no problem. You know, I moved and yada, yada, yada. And I didn't like Google and, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. well, all that in a bag of chips. So I got to go out pretty soon uh and it, now that it's getting a uh, decent temperature i can at least go out and check out the oak camp and i can check out my, my and i can start to renew my camp out there i you know i i take trips out there now i got all my stuff look at this this is like this is like the, the devil's den and i got a, I built a whole new workbench of death you can't see it look look there's a whole new workbench of death <laughs> is right here <laughs> uh, but there's going to be more videos to come i really 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 appreciate everybody sticking with me i've got tons of messages i've got tons of emails saying hey you know uh, are you okay you know are you sick are you still alive did you quit youtube da, 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 da. no i just took a break now it's cool enough for me to go out there without getting a heat stroke at my age look at look at how great my beard is man i can't i can't take that stuff no more so we're going to see some bench review videos on some things because I got, I have, you know, now I have some more ideas for some new videos. I haven't got any new product products yet, but I'm going to do that later. Uh, I got a tent that I haven't reviewed. I'm going to take that out to the Oak Camp. So that's basically where I've been. Once again, I really, really appreciate everybody sticking with me. I appreciate your messages and your comments, you know, voicing concern for, you know, if I was okay, yep, I am, I am 100% okay. So that's where I've been. I would appreciate it if you left the, left the like on this video. And until next time, hopefully the next time we'll be out at the old camp. Until next time, this is Matthew Florida Boy, and I will see you on the trail.